Okay, so today, a guy and two girls, Creations is going to be doing a resin review. We're going to start from the beginning and finish to the end, basically. Might be a couple parts within the videos, but we have warmed the resin. We're going to follow every advice except for this one says to spritz alcohol on top of it. Sorry, guys. That's just not going to happen today. So we have Pro Marine, Pro Art Resin, Pro Art Resin does uh, resin for marine boats, tabletops, and art resin. I will say right now this does have an odor, but so far the bubble problem is almost non-existent with this. I mean, we have some micro bubbles. There's ways to get those out. This is new. We have not tried this. We just got it in the mail today, so this will be a new experience for us. Then we have Dr. Crafty. Dr. Crafty is a thinner resin than other ones we've worked with, and there's a slight bubble issue. Then we have Naked Fusion Diamond Clarity. Y'all, this resin is a problem, and we will show you why it's a problem. So everything has been warmed, you can see the water, and we will begin and show you snippets. Okay, so this is Pro Marine, and this is part A, which is really thick, and B, and that's warmed. We do see bubbles, but when we mix it, you'll see um, it tends to uh, be self-gassing a little bit better than the other ones. Okay show you what it looks like when it's mixed okay so this is the pro marine after mixing it you can see there's a lot of bubbles but if you look it's self-gassing it they're all starting to pop so we're going to go ahead and set this over by the pro marine mold and let it sit for five minutes this is the dr crafty before being mixed part this is the hardener this is the resin, which is really bubbly. Okay, and we'll show you after we mix it. So this is Dr. Crafty mixed. And we're adding one drop of alcohol tint just to kind of add a tint to it a little bit. But one thing I wanted to show about Dr. Crafty that we really didn't like was how thin it is. It's like really thin. Okay, so we're going to set that by our Dr. Crafty mold. And we're going to go ahead and pour the um, Pro Marine, my little, my uh, co-owner here. And this is kind of what we do to create uh, kind of a 3D effect. Usually we let, actually let the... the clear level uh clear kind of set and then we add stuff into it because it adds like a 3d effect it pops but this is just to show clarity we're kind of rating on thickness and clarity and bubbles and how fast it cures so everybody can get an idea of what they would rather have now the pro marine said not to heat the hardener, I think it was, but we found it works. All of them work better if you warm both. One thing that we did know about, uh, notice about Pro Marine, was that it set um, within a reasonable time. Like I was doing a very serious project, and it was taking. It took me two hours, and it only started setting really thick and uh, I want to say taffy like pulling taffy like um, at the end of that so but once it sets it sets quickly so be aware that you may have some work time again most resins the more you mix uh, the faster it's going to set but we don't we have uh, we know how much each one of our molds takes and that's how we know to measure it at your point aren't you doing it backwards it needs, oh. to, it needs to be that way 
flipped over. Really? Yeah. Upside down and backwards is not good for me. (laughs) (laughs) And the reason I jiggled the cross around a lot is because there's a lot of texture on the other side of this cross. And I wanted to make sure that the resin got worked in really well. Otherwise, it does create a ton of bubbles. And we are trying to show how little bubbles that there can be. So the more you work it with the resin and then push it down, the fewer you're going to have on the other side of this. So that was why I was being a little forceful with slopping it around there for a while. And you can see there's still a lot of micro bubbles, but we'll keep coming back to it as far as um, to see how they're setting. And they do raise up out of the while it's in the mold and stuff too, while it's sitting there. A little bit more. That's right, because your side's not level. There we go. Bright light! Okay, so I'll do a real close-up of it. So you can kind of see all those bubbles. But see how it's kind of self-gassing? A lot of us say not to use a heat gun. We try not to... Um, we try to keep our heat gun that we do use a little bit further away from the mold so we don't melt them. You just got to be cautious about it. Don't, like... One thing you need to know if you if you put your heat gun too close to it, it it's gonna it's it gonna warm. it's gonna burn the resin, and you can melt your mold. So she's gonna heat gun it a little bit. I'm gonna show you how much far we try to keep it away, so it's not really close. But it does help those micro bubbles uh, raise up. Now we're just gonna let that set, and we should be ready for Doctor Crafty. And then we'll do the next two. It's just better we do them two at a time, so we can really get in and see kind of how we're gonna do it. Now, the mold, the little objects that you see that we're using, we made those with, if I am correct, Promarine. Promarine. Well, some of them These work. are a mixture of everybody. Yeah. Um, the, the Love God is a mixture of a bunch of different ones. But the other ones, these ones I'm entering in now... That was the craft. Um, that was Dr. Crafty. Oh, it was. Okay. This was Dr. Crafty. And... I think that was the craft resin. Yeah, this was a craft resin that was... It is one of our favorite resins. We're going to give a heads up on that. We just don't have any right now. because yeah, We used it all. We liked it so much. Yeah, it was gone in like two days. It's <laughs> gone. We did like it a lot. But you have to follow the directions. A lot of different ones may be what by weight, but you must, if they're by volume, measure them correctly. And all the ones we're doing tonight are by volume. And you can see all the bubbles on the Dr. Crafty. They tend to have bigger bubbles. Wow, that's really bubbling tonight. Well, this also had a lot of texture in it. That's why I'm kind of trying to make sure it doesn't... Although it is an ocean one, a few bubbles, you know. Yeah. Adds to the effect, right? Sometimes we wing things and it either ends up really good or really bad. Experiments. Okay. Science is fun.
Yes, he was like exact. Um, one of the tips that we found out was um, if you want to measure the volume of, or the approximate volume anyway, of your molds, you fill them with rice and then you measure it in milliliters. It's pretty close. Like this one said 20 and it's dead on. Like it's to the top. And that's it. So it measures it very well. Okay. And she's. Uh, I want to get in there and show you all those wonderful bubbles. Look at that. Um, it is one of the things we did notice with Dr. Crafty is a lot of micro bubbles. But she's going to heat gun it, and then I'll do a close-up again, and I'll also show you the other one. Okay, well, we'll let it set for a minute and see if some of them come up. I mean, like, there's not much we can... Unfortunately, with Dr. Crafty, um, actually, I'm waiting for an email back from them because they didn't like my review. You are going to run into microbubbles, and one of the things that we did was we um, have a way to vibrate a table to get the bubbles to raise, and we had to do that a lot with Dr. Crafty and um, Naked Fusion. Which you'll get to see in the future. Trying not to make a mess, but it's not working. Oh, there are some bubbles going away. Chasing this one, and it doesn't want to go away. I see it. Mm. I was gonna grab that. Yeah, that's the one I've been watching you. I'm like, you're gonna get that, right? <laughs> that one just does not. <laughs> yeah, Persistent bubbles from Dr. Crafty. There we go. Yeah, they are. They're, it's, it's actually one of the. Uh, mm -hmm. There's tons of micros, but the, a lot of those should come up to the surface. Okay, so then we're gonna take a look and see what this is doing. And as you can see, it is self gassing. Like they're starting to raise to the top, which here in a second, we'll probably do another heat gun and then um, it should be better. But we usually let it set for what, about 10 minutes before mm -hmm. I run it again? Yeah. Okay. And now I got to mix the other ones and we will be back. Okay. So we are back. As I pause the video, I apologize. We don't have any like good things. Um, to be doing starting this but we feel we need to share with everybody to kind of demonstrate exactly what's going on with certain resins okay so this is naked fusion I hate this resin <laughs> that's the only one way to put it okay you see all those bubbles that's just beginning and please keep in mind that this has been warmed so you got both of them Hardener and resin warmed. This is how it comes out being warmed. Okay, I'll come back and show you when we're done mixing it. Okay, oh. so I wanted to show this to you. I am not done mixing it. With Naked Fusion, you need to kind of fold it and bring it up. Rather than stirring it slowly, fold it a little bit a few times while you're mixing it otherwise it doesn't mix right so I had to pause and show you that and as you can see it doesn't really mix well at first so but I had to show you that you if you if you decide to buy this resin you need to fold it okay so this is why I don't like this resin I call it bubble hell um it, it's not self-gassing you have to do like a lot like I'll sit here and tap it to bring the bubbles up, which it does. You can see it starts to bring them up. But overall, you're never going to get all the bubbles out. Like, we had a lot of product ruined because we used this resin. I don't recommend it. I'm sorry, Naked Fusion. And by the way, disclaimer, nobody is paying us for these videos. We are doing it just for an information purpose only.
yeah, there's no hope. You may pour. Pouring. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yikes. See, you can, I just really want everybody to see this bubble, like, nightmare. It is. It truly is. We've vibrated tables. We've heated it. We've warmed it. We've heat gunned it. We've flamed it. We d d toothpicked it. We have literally tried everything. And that's one of the reasons we're using Let's this. Heat gun it first. Yeah. Because. Yeah, you're going to have terrible bubbles in that. But it's kind of good. That's one of the reasons we did this one as a C. As a C thing is because it's super bad. And that killed more than half of them. But as you can see, there's still a lot of micro bubbles coming up. And once it sets, it's it's just really bad. We'll show you the end results. It's going to be um, over hours so that we can show you like how long it takes to set. On average, from what we found with the Naked Fusion, it takes about 12 hours to harden enough to take it out of a mold. Good tools to have are popsicle sticks while we're waiting and watching this artist at her work. Um, <laughs> let him make jokes, folks. Uh, so uh, tweezers um, are good to have. Uh, toothpicks, uh, must have. Toothpicks are a must, yes. Um, these silicone mixing cups are the best. Like... You can clean them, you can scrape them, you can, I mean, like, they come clean really, really easy. And most people are afraid of when you go to pick it up, you're going to go, Psst, and you're going to, no, once the fluid's in there, it's real easy not to do that. And the ones that we use most often are the 100 milliliters, the small ones. And then it's good to have, um, not... If you can find them, there's a certain grocer who sells them. No, it's not Walmart. Um, I looked. Uh, they sell these, and these are perfect to mix uh, resins in. And then, um, unfortunately, this, uh, this one's not dirty. These are great for small project or detailed projects. Because then you can use... Like when you're doing the flowers like that, those. and you need multiple colors for yep. small little things. Yeah, that worked great. So that is the ocean. Um, the other thing that we just thought of today is to use mustard and ketchup bottles um, as like detailed areas. Um, Rather than the eyedroppers because the droppers don't pull up the, enough. Yeah. Oh God, those bubbles are just terrible. <laughs> oh, we got to show her. There's just some of them. But there's so much. If you do a lot of ocean scenes, yeah, it'd probably be a good resin to have just to have that bubble effect. But other than that, I, this is just, it's not a good resin to work with. It's really not. Oh, and some of the things that happen, like we've measured it exact every time. Every time. And we ended up with gummy products. Like the resin wasn't it didn't ever set it wouldn't set like we have no idea why we did notice with some of the fluorescent um glow in the dark dyes they tend to add to that effect or make it worse so there's another heads up 
Okay, so I'm getting really close so you can Here. see. Difference between glow in the dark. That's just holding it. That's no weight on it at all. It's just and it's been there for a week. No, oh, two weeks. Two weeks. Two weeks. Yeah. This is another one that's non glow doesn't have any glow in the dark in it, but it's still very bendable. So yeah, those were some of our incidences of <laughs> naked fusion. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you Dr. Crafty. Now, some of the bubbles have gone away, but there's still a lot of bubbles. So, I mean, we don't have a pressure pot, so we all know what would happen if we had a pressure pot. That wouldn't be a problem. So if you have a pressure pot, eh, who cares? Okay, so this is the Pro Marine, and as you can see, though, the bubbles are rising to the surface, so we're probably going to run the heat gun over it again, and a lot of those bubbles will go away, but it is self-gassing. You can see the, the bubbles raising, but again, Dr. Crafty, the bubbles just kind of sit there. Okay, and we will come back for Let's Resin, our new resin experience. We've never used it before, so let's share it. So she just got done heat gunning everything. So I want to show you Dr. Crafty. Still, like, really bad bubbles. That is the Naked Fusion. I don't know if no, you that's know. Pro Marine. It's Pro Marine? God, that's even got pretty bad bubbles this time. But is it because of the dye? I don't know. There was not this many bubbles when we mixed it yesterday. So I guess we just had a bad, like, experience. I don't know. We'll see. So I'm going to work with it again t later, and we'll update you when everything kind of clears and bubbles raise. We still have a little bit more work on them. And this is the Naked Fusion, which, like, no bubbles have come out of. You can see it's, like, really bad. But, I mean, so we're going to compare Dr. Crafty. You can see a few, you know, there's some bubbles, and then you have Naked Fusion. There is bubbles everywhere and I have taken the toothpicks and run along the edges that really does help kick up a bunch of the bubbles and keep your edges clean that's been our saving grace on a lot of things as soon as we figured that one out um, we are still kind of new to this so we're still making errors <laughs> learning from our mistakes okay so this is the let's resin so this is a new one I mean, I see some bubbles in there. There's some microscopics, but you can see it's coming to the top. But the clear is, it it has some clarity to it. Like I'm trying to let it roll up so you can see it. Actually, that's not bubbles. That is glitter from the yellow. Okay, the yellow is really glittery. I did not know that. So I just wanted to kind of show you the clarity. It's pretty good. So we're going to go ahead and pour that. I might work on Jack tomorrow. Yeah, that's all glitter. <laughs> yeah, it's glitter. It's all the pearlescent coloring. Yeah. Okay, so I made these flowers yesterday with the Pro Marine. And I guess there's some bubbles on the back, but that really doesn't matter as far as the stuff that we do. Um, we do a lot of like light switches and very um, artistic stuff very unique light switches like uh, for special needs class I made a really neat light switch that said on off and it was glow in the dark and it said lights so that they learned to say you know spell lights and I gave it to my son's teacher because I just want it was an experiment and it actually turned out really well except for a crazy UV resin that we used that just sucked which, that gives me time to show you the resin that we like. Okay, so I got this on Amazon. Yakamos. Yakamos? Sorry, I don't know how to say it. Um, this works really good. The only thing that you have to be aware of is that your UV light has to be above 36 watts. Which means the flashlights do not work. So sunlight, or um, we just got a light bulb 
we're going to try tomorrow with it. Um, it goes from bright white to a uh, 60 watt black light by s just switching it on and off. So we're going to try that. It will probably be in another one of our videos, the things that we use UV resin for. But this stuff is really good. It smells horrible horrible oh however i don't, must have been. <laughs> i don't have the other one the other one is actually used for fly fishing and stuff like that that it's a type of uh, uv resin glue and that stuff smells like a chemical plant like it's terrible we couldn't breathe um, the package came opened dumped everywhere we couldn't get the smell to go away terrible stuff i will update you on that later oh geez she has it i don't know the brand though I don't think it says the brand, but this stuff here is just terrible. It stinks. Okay, so one of the things that we did notice with this new resin is it does have an odor. It's not super strong, but it's not the best. Out of all of them, I'm going to say after Dr. Crafty has the least amount of smell. Then it would go Naked Fusion, which is a bonus of it, but again, it's just not that great because we've had bad experience. Um, again, try it. See if you like it. I We just want everybody to be aware, step by step, of are, how they look. These are problems we've had with it. And like, like we said, we're relatively new to this, but we have learned a lot from our mistakes and each resin is very different so it, it's just a matter of what you need to use it for on whether it's going to work for you but these are our opinions and what we've seen happen with each resin so and you can see how she's doing that with the toothpick that's how we get the bubbles out of the edges um we've had a lot of problems with bubbles in the edges of my light switches that i do and um other things um, yeah, the light switches, the trays, um, everything, pretty much, or even the, um, self-defense weaponry keychain things. Yeah. And that was also with Naked Fusion, so. Yeah. We had a lot of issues. Um. I'm only seeing a few, but I'm still gonna hit it with a heat gun. Give it the same treatment we gave everybody else. Um, and as far as the most smelliest goes, Promarine is top. Oh, yes. Promarine smells. It, it's not the worst we've... Oh, jeez. I can show that while she's eating. That's so terrible. Oh, that's terrible. Oh, terrible. It doesn't say that it's polyester. But low VOC formula? What is the low... What is the high VOC formula smell like? Yeah, I don't want to know. Okay, so we have this stuff. She got it a while back. This stuff is, wow. Like, whoo. You better vent and also mix in very small amounts. Otherwise, it heats up so quick that it sets within 20 minutes. So there's one you can know about. We're not going to do a test on it because I don't want to die tonight from this view. <laughs> and as you can see by the bottle, it's been around the block a few times. It's yeah, we use it for a emergencies. Emergencies only. Yeah, emergencies only. It's toxic. Which we don't really know that, but it does smell extremely bad and it gets really hot really fast. Okay, so this is the Let's Resin. So far, Let's Resin's got my vote. We have a cat, folks. And unfortunately, we spend, we have an air filter. <laughs> and it's getting most of it. But on occasion, we find a cat air. We apologize. But that's how you get them out. Honestly, if you don't have the tweezers, toothpicks. Every time we'll get them out in case you have a pet. We have three large dogs and a crazy cat. That's, yeah. like, the clarity is really good. So I'm trying to show you that that's glitter and barely any bubbles. There's, like, very few micro bubbles. This stuff's amazing. 
We'll let you know how it sets, though. We'll give you a heads up. Um, we're going to end it for now, and then the rest of the videos will be in parts um, to show you how long each one took to set. Um, we usually check them within like five hours because I don't sleep, apparently. Um, but I'll keep you posted, and I'll like video it and let you guys know. Like, I actually think that one's starting to set. So... It's such usually within 20 minutes. Yeah, it's tacky. <laughs> so it's starting to turn. It's starting to turn pulled taffy is what I call it. But that's, I'll do one more close up of every single one. So you can see the bubbles. And you can see the micro bubbles are still raising on and the there is And there is glitter in that one too. There, all of them have an opalescent hue to them. So there is going to be a little bit of glitter in each one of the dyes. But. Oh, that's a terrible bubble. Sorry. Right there? No. no. Right Oh, please let me get it before it sets. Come on. Okay, so this is what I call pulled taffy. And if you do it just right, it'll settle again. But there was a huge bubble, and I just was not okay with that. Kind of OCD. Um, <clears throat> but here's the Dr. Crafty. None of the bubbles have raised. Yes, you can see the difference between the glitter and the bubbles if we've refracted it. Just kind of move it a little around. When there's glitter in there, where did the glitter come from? Oh. Okay, so hopefully no one is offended, but uh, glitter is the herpes of the craft world. You can never get rid of glitter. Got that from a nurse. She was awesome. So I was complaining about, I can't get the glitter away off me. I used it once and we just randomly find it. Okay, so this is the Naked Fusion. Like, what? We're 15 minutes out, and although there's glitter, there is still... That's actually not a lot of glitter. That's the bubbles. And they're trying to come to the surface, but they get stuck. And we'll probably heat gun it one more time, and then we'll also show the clarity when we pull the molds so that everybody can see. Well, that is it for tonight, and we will share the rest later so that everybody can know kind of how each resin looks when it's all said and done. And also I'll let you know when they start to turn tacky at what hour points. And also I will let you know when they fully harden. Uh, fully hard means to me, um, you can take them out of the mold without them being tacky. They may not be fully set, but they are hardened. And <clears throat> most resins I'm going to tell you right now it takes about 24 to 48 hours uh, to fully set. Um, the Dig Naked Fusion, there were some that took three days. Three, actually, four days and some never set. So, all right, everybody have a great night. And if you get a chance to watch this video, hi, and we'll talk to you later.